Through a rich and varied history, Bullis has become one of the finest independent co-educational institutions in the Washington, D.C. area. But it all started almost a century ago with a love story. In 1920, when William Bullis was 18 years old, he entered the Naval Academy. He was a hard-working student with lots of ideas and ambitions. When he graduated in 1924, he served in the Navy and then the Army, where he became an educator. After becoming a reservist, Captain William Bullis met Lois Hoover. Lois was a school teacher in Washington, D.C. She was intelligent and compassionate, and she loved her career. She also had a pet pig that she called Little Lois. The two talked frequently about their love for teaching and shared a dream of opening a school. And in 1930, after William and Lois were married, they started Bullis School with the objective of educating and stewarding young men toward military academies. The Bullises spent the first year of marriage setting up their school. At first, Captain Bullis, who later became a Navy commander, was the only teacher. He always said that the real secret to the best education was learning how to learn. When the school opened in the early 1930s with just 13 students enrolled, only academic subjects were taught. English, math, science, history, and mechanical drawing. The school did not have an athletics program until the students approached Commander Bullis years later and asked to broaden the school's mission to include sports, which would help build community and strengthen students' leadership skills. There was no arts program until decades later. The Bulldog became the Bullis mascot because Mr. Spencer, a teacher and principal from 1947 to 1983, brought his English Bulldogs to games and the students fell in love with them. They began referring to themselves as the Bullis Bulldogs and the nickname stuck. For the first 50 years, the school admitted boys only until, in 1981, Bullis opened its doors to girls with the mission of providing an exceptional, well-rounded education to a more inclusive student body. In 1983, the first class to include girls graduated, setting an important milestone in Bullis's history. Around that time, many of our enduring traditions were established, including the Bullis Olympics, which began in 1986 and included field games, a pie-eating contest, and floats. All these years later, the grades still compete for bragging rights each year during homecoming week. Bullis began as a one-year boarding school for high school graduates preparing for service academy entrance exams. Over the years, we shifted our mission and added grades beginning with upper school and expanding it to include middle and lower school. After opening with just 13 young men enrolled in 1930, Bullis has grown into a vibrant, inclusive learning community that welcomes students of all backgrounds and identities in kindergarten through 12th grade. In the fall of 2023, we opened with 1,020 students eager to pursue their passions while becoming critical thinkers, lifelong learners, and impactful global citizens. From the very first day, Bullis encouraged its students to be honest, to respect others, to show kindness and integrity, and to be supportive and inclusive. In the 1990s, Bullis faculty also established the school's values, caring, challenging, community. These values guide each of us every day and symbolize the rich intellectual experience Bullis provides in a diverse, welcoming learning environment. Bullis celebrated its 90th anniversary in 2020. There are many more anniversaries to come and every student, faculty member, and family is part of the ever-evolving Bullis story.